A really good practical use is to use it to find coupon codes. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into ChatGPT, you're going to turn on agent mode, there's a little drop down that says agent, and you're going to type in this. You're going to type in, help me find coupon codes for whatever product you want to buy, an NVIDIA 590 graphics card, doesn't matter. Um, then test those coupon codes at the website to make sure that they are valid. So this is going to do something special. Now normally you could set ChatGPT to go and find your coupon codes. Yeah, sure, they can do that or you could Google them yourself. It doesn't really matter. That's easy. What the agent is going to do, and this is what's special, is it's going to go and try to use those codes. It's going to go to the website, it's going to navigate around the website, it's going to open up a cart, place stuff into the cart, and then try out those coupon codes and see if they are valid for you. And it's going to do that with all of the coupon codes that it finds. This is a really good taster and a really good example of what agents can do. Tasks that would take us time doing repetitive uh, actions, they can just go off and do all of that for us. And it's these kind of tasks that we should be using agents for, not just for general research, not just for general uh, questions that we ask ChatGPT, but for things that require going through multiple steps. So go and try it, tell me how it works for you. Tell me if it finds any coupons, hell, you'll probably get some money off something, and if so, fantastic. But more importantly, it's a really good example of how to use agents.